Well, hi there everyone and welcome back to Planet 19. Where, as you might be able to tell, things are going, shall we say, interestingly. We have got quite a good crop actually, we, everything in here has grown and not been harvested. However, I'm assuming it has been because the cow situation is pretty, well, cowful, I guess would be a good way of putting it, is this thing. It has absolutely nothing in it, so it has not worked at any point, but these clearly have. How's this doing? It's not got a lot of food in it. So I'm not entirely sure exactly why that's happened, except for the far part, escaped baby cow there, that this is out of energy. This one, however, seems to be full of energy, which means I don't really know. I guess the night cycle part hasn't been working that well. Or something like that. So, what I am going to do... ...is swap you out and put in an energy cube. Now, I don't know exactly why that would not work. Where are my chunk boundaries, actually? Uh, they were just across two chunks, although both should have been chunk loaded. So I really, really don't know exactly what's going on there. I might have to just fiddle. I'm guessing it's a chunk loading problem. I don't think it is the generator. Right, let's go and see if we can swap this over. Let's get that overlay off as well. All that I'm going to do is swap this one for this one, because this one is very full. Uh, pop in the empty one. Just like that, uh, except input from the left, output to the bottom. And that, interestingly, has started the harvester working, because it wasn't working a minute ago. How about this one? No, this one still is not feeling like working. I have no idea why that is. Right, let's get back over to out here. Plug in our brand new energy cube and see what happens. Except from the back output to the bottom, that is now draining and is anything happening? Well, that's working. That's good. That's working extremely quickly. That will be putting things into there. The slaughterhouse, however, appears still not to be working, even though it has all the energy in the world. What is going on with this thing? Right, let's pull this out and see if Popping it out and putting it back will make any sort of difference. I have no room to pop it in. All me babies are escaping. This is not good. This is rather... Babies! You are very, very annoying babies. No, don't all fall down into the hole and trying to build there. Stupid things. Um, well, I know. How about we pop it down over here? No, that would be terrible. Um, oh dear lord. There's more of them coming. Any chance of getting it in? I'm so sorry, baby cows. Cows, get back. Oh, cows, cows, cows. And I've no idea why cows in here are being bred. Right, it is just going to be plonked down on here. Which should sort out our cow problem a little bit. Right, as you can see, we have a load of meat. We have a small amount of pink slime in there, which is what I wanted exactly. Unfortunately, it has not managed to kill any of those. This is good. I'm quite interested in how that's working. It's because that is... No, that's an input. 
Oh wait, that stores power, doesn't it? Oh, I am so confused. I just plonked it down and it started working. The mine factory reloaded machines are a touch glitchy, I feel. On this particular server. But there we go, with more power, all the adults go. Right, so we have a load of... Well, a couple of different things in there, and that means we need somewhere to store them. And what better place to store them than in a tank? So we have a few different options on tanks. Obviously we've built the rail tank tanks before. So we're not going to build another one of those tanks. Um, what we could do is use a open blocks tank. That could be cute. They do require obsidian, of course. But they are probably the best tanks to use for this. Now, of course, obsidian is one of those things which we do not really have. Therefore, you just have to excuse me for one minute while I go on a little mining expedition with my block breaker to get a little bit of that stuff. Okay then, so I am back and I come bearing eight pieces of obsidian, which is just about enough if you combine it with some of these. Right, just arrange glass in a pattern like that and a bit of this stuff in a pattern like this, and it's probably the other way around, isn't it? Oh, you need one in the middle as well. Oh no, tragedy on one short. Tragedy, right. There aren't any just lying about anywhere, are there? No, there are never any just lying about anywhere. Let's grab some from out of here. Quickly whip together some glass panes. Pop you in there, pop you in there. And we have some tanks. The other thing which we're going to need is fluid ducts. It's not very often we use fluid ducts actually. But they're pretty easy to make. They are just copper and lead. So just get a load of those and some pneumatic servos and let us have a very quick kip. And of course a very glitchy one. There we go, let's try that again. And we are in bed this time. Right, so it is now morning. Now, the problem here is that let us get over here and see what we've got. We've got a load of baby cows, a few adult cows. Right, I'm just going to flatten off a bit of this hill. Cows, you are so escapy. Right, we have two different fluids in here. We have liquid meat and we have pink slime. So we have to get those both out. Now the problem is that we really want them over here because this is where it will actually be. So I'm going to put in a pair of tanks one. Where am I going to put these tanks? That will sit there, that will come out the back. They'll probably run along there, so we will have one there and one there. So let us pop in a tank here and one here. Now I'm connecting item ducts aren't I? Which is not what I wanted to connect, I wanted to connect fluid ducts. There we go, fluid ducts. They're a lot like item ducts, that doesn't really matter. Let us just pop this down here. Give this a whack with a hammer to make it an output. Now I don't think that will automatically flow because we need either a lever or a servo motor in it. You can just use levers. I just like to use servo motors. I don't know why. Set that to ignore and that will start filling up. It's going to start filling up with meat. It is pulling out the pink slime too. It is in the fluid duct. So let us... Oh, the thing is the pink slime can't go into there because it's full of meat. We can now connect it up to the second tank and the second tank will start filling up with pink slime. Nice and easy. Let us get you out and pop you in where you're actually supposed to go, which is 
their well-escaped little cow. So now what we can do is we can uh, get rid of all of these on the top. The problem is if you connect two at once it tends to put the meat into both of the tanks at the same time which is really proper annoying. Now though we can just run these along here, do exactly the same, set that to be an output. One pneumatic servo in, take you out and set you to be ignored. Now anything which comes out of here will go straight into these tanks. I've got extra tanks. I can build them up. If you've not seen the open block tanks they are great because you can build them in absolutely any shape that you want. Where are my escaped cows? You are all huddled down in the corner there. That's all very cute but you're supposed to be in here. So let's get you back in here please. I know you don't really want to be. There you go. You and oh dear lord. Hundreds of cows down in a hole. Right. The rest of you can live out your lives quite happily down there. My one, oh hello, this was the baby cow which I saved earlier. He's grown up to be a big strong cow and he can now go back in with my breeding stock which is over here. So there will be three cows, three cows, four cows, two pairs in my breeding stock. We have lots of wheat in here. Oh my word there are just cows everywhere now. That's good I can get beef for, oh ah uh, what? Oh skeleton. Hello skelly. I don't actually have my axe equipped for some strange reason. So let's get that equipped and go and say hello to the skelly. Hello skelly. Goodbye skelly. Too many trees around here clearly. And lots and lots and lots of arrows. So before we can do anything with this we do need to get up to 1000 millibuckets. Obviously 1000 millibuckets is a bucket of pink slime. But that is everything we're going to do there. What we are now going to do is just leave this to see how it works. What I shall do in the meantime though is just prettify this up a little bit. I think these sorts of things around it will look really quite nice actually. Just to actually that's going to completely muck up with that isn't it. Perhaps if I just put them in here. There is my super hidden chunk loader and I am out of bricks. But that is my idea. Now what else are we going to do today? Well there's one other thing which I wanted to have a quick look at today and that is going to be in here and it is going to be something called a factory block. It's part of the chisel mod. It's a special type of block which you can make which takes three pieces of iron and three pieces of that's four obviously, four pieces of iron, four pieces of smooth stone. Both of which we should have quite a bit of. I don't actually need that much of it do I? Sixteen pieces should be plenty. Could probably be immensely too much. What we do with this stuff is we just arrange it in a pattern like that with stone in the corners and iron in between. It gets you these things. These are factory blocks. Why are these good? Well they're not that pretty by themselves it must be said but what you can do is you can chisel them into many many interesting and beautiful shapes including things like this, things with stripes on and that's sort of what I wanted to do. I thought what I might do is just line the floor probably around my big reactor with these blocks, see how it looks. Sort of, you know, a warning sign block type thing. Might look great, it might look absolutely terrible but there's no way to find out until we try it. Let's actually eat 
before we starve. Right, Chisel, I wanted to try the yellow-white, the yellow-black hazard block. Let's see how it looks. Yep, I'm quite liking the look of that. I think I'm getting completely caught. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Probably put it along the front as well. Nice, just as a little warning, because obviously this is a nuclear reactor, it is quite clearly a very, very dangerous thing. Also, these chisel blocks come in various other colours. The orange-white looks quite cool too, I think. And they do sort of connect up very nicely. Also, there are various other things like, I don't know, metal plates, rusty plates, wireframes. The wireframe's quite cute as well. I might have to find somewhere to put some of these. But that will be for a future episode. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode, guys. Do leave a comment if you did, and most importantly of all, of course, I do hope to see you once again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.